Look up in the sky Ooh, I made it Think I'm gonna lie When I tell you I ain't gonna take it I got hands on the nation Check my reputation Yeah, that scoreboard still wanna know That my tomb is vacant That's why I'm undefeated Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. I want to read a verse of scripture from the Gospel of John, chapter 21, uh, verses 21 and 22. This is a conversation that Jesus had with Peter around the other disciples after he had resurrected. He had spent time with them in the morning uh, after they had caught some fish and they were they had just finished their breakfast. And he says this, Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, But Lord, what about this man? And Jesus said to him, If I will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? You follow me. Now, to put this in more context, Jesus had just finished asking Peter, Do you love me three times? And three times Peter answered, You know that I do. We know that it, when you look at the Greek translation, when Jesus uses the word love, he's saying agape. Do you have un... Um, do you have love for me that is unconditional? And Peter responded with a different word, meaning family or friend kind of love, which would mean that it's the conditions that, that we place a lot of times on our love for people. Jesus asked him three times, saying, do you have unconditional love? Peter said, and he could not answer that because Peter was still hurting from having denied knowing Christ and he was still trying to recover from that, had not received the Holy Spirit yet and did not receive the full power that would come from receiving the Holy Spirit. So Jesus goes on to tell him that, you know, when you are old, you know, you, you go where you wanted to right now, but when you're old, someone else will lead you. And what he was telling Peter is that one day you will die on a cross the way I did. Peter wasn't too happy about hearing that and started looking around and saying, hey, what about this man pointing at John? And, you know, Jesus' reply is, don't worry about John. You just follow me. So the point today is, listen, we get so caught up worrying about what other people are doing and, and, and saying, hey, why is this happening? Why is that happening? We need to just focus on ourselves. Uh, we, we've talked about this before, maybe not in this context with this passage, but at home a lot of times, you know, Samuel will say something about Claire did this or whatever, and Beverly and I will say, Samuel, you just need to take care of yourself. It's a full-time job. It is a full-time job just to do those things that God would want us to do and follow our plan and not be so concerned about what others are doing, uh, whether they're doing the right things or the wrong things. Hey, I can't control what other people do or what they say. I can only control what I do and what I say. And that is what we need to focus on, not what's going on with other folks and what they're doing. Anyway, let's just pay attention. Let's just take care of ourselves. I think we've, we've used that those words before. And we'll be a lot better off. Anyway, guys, I hope that you have a great day. God bless you, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.